I love the book, you know, and I love the story behind the book. Uh, and just as a voice and as someone who um, has a platform, I've just been racking my brain trying to figure out the best way to, to use that platform to address what I've been seeing in the news, what I've been seeing in the media, uh, the treatment of people of color, of black people specifically. And so to be able to take on this role and to be able to speak out in a way and articulate um, my frustrations in a way through this powerful character just felt like an honor. And it's influenced me in ways that I didn't expect. She's one of those people that just wants justice. She's, she witnesses injustices all the time. She's kind of tired and but one of those people that you look to for inspiration to feel like you know you can make a difference and i think for her this case means a lot because of star because of star there's a unique situation where you have a witness to this murder and uh she sees a lot of herself in star um i think she comes to see a lot of herself in star and in the end i think learns a bit more from Star than Star may have learned from her. And, you know, she's just so fun to play because she's so outspoken. Khalil's death is, I don't wanna say an opportunity, but, you know, it is an opportunity to try again, to try to shine a light again and um, to get justice for his family and um, to bring attention to this national issue. I've been watching her work for a very long time. She was like an earlier viewer of my small web series, Awkward Black Girl, and I remember being excited then, like, oh, what, Amanda watches this? This is dope. And then to be able to work with her and just, like one of those people that comes to stay and encourages you, because like, you know she's been there every day for over 12 hours. And, you know, it, it, in, in watching her just feeling like inspired to continue to try to be better. And she's just, just a complete, complete joy to work with. So this is my first time working on a, a movie and meeting with George, like that first meeting, um, I just remember leaving so impressed with him because he really, really takes the time to dive into every character, no matter how small and just invest so much time in making sure that this, this is a fully realized world. And it's just so, so great about communicating what it is that he wants. Cause that's hard as a director, you know, you, sometimes you work with directors who, who um, have a specific vision, but aren't necessarily able to articulate that through the actors. And I just feel like he's, you know, a director's director and actor's director and um, also just has been a pleasure to work with and I've learned so much from him just behind the scenes. There definitely were like, always be polite, always you know, show your hands. I remember my brothers getting those talks, my older brothers. Um, and I don't think that I grew up with a favorable opinion of the police. In fact, I wanted <laughs> to be a police officer when I was a little girl just, you know, as a, I wanted to be a dinosaur too. But, you know, I remember saying that I wanted to be a police officer and my grandmother being like, no, no, you don't, you don't want to be that. And my mom had to talk to my grandmother and be like, you can't discourage, like she wants to be a dinosaur. But, you know, that fear just being um, instilled in me at, at such a young age and uh, never revisiting that. So there were definitely police talks um, and with reason. I really hope people don't just dismiss this as a film about police brutality, it, because it's so much more than that. You know, I think it's a testament to Angie's writing that this res resonates across all ages. It's really a coming of age story, if anything. It's about a young, um, you know, black woman kind of finding her voice. And what I love about this project specifically is that there's so many black women, young black women, um, on the sidelines, in the trenches, behind so many of our movements throughout history. And to, so to see the, the evolution of this young girl and sort of her origin story and to imagine where she's gonna go from here is, is just so inspiring. So I just hope audiences leave here feeling like 
they can make a difference. They can use their voices to speak out.